All right, so Taurus, Taurus, brace yourself because your love life is about to be laid bare. There are some secrets about the desires of your heart, secrets that just will shatter your expectations and transform your romantic destiny. The question is, is what hidden passions lurk beneath the surface? What truths will be revealed about your intimate future? There are answers, but are you ready to face them? So let's start your reading. Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, October. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Oops. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer <laughs> to see me shuffle on camera. There you go. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Taurus says start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up. As uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. There's something that you're kind of keeping to yourself with that um, four of pentacles. There's something that you're keeping to yourself. I'm not sure whether it's something that you found out about this person or something that they've done. I feel I feel like it's more in tune with, with that, but you're kind of keeping it to yourself. But with that has come this... Um, five of, of, of pentacles which talks about space you know when you don't reveal something to you know to someone and you kind of hold it in and it creates space or distance a bit of distance between the both of you that's what it's kind of causing um, a lot of heartbreak on your end for some reason I say for some reason because I'm not privy to what it is but definitely it's something that's just upsetting and I want to I want to say that I'm not sure whether you should fully go ahead with what it is you found out unless it's concrete evidence because I don't feel like you've discussed it with this person to hear or, or kind of be privy to their side of it or their perspective as to why they might have made certain moves or did certain things. Um, the, the thing is you're still kind of drawn towards this person. There is a pull towards you. You do notice the change, this change within you regarding regarding them I feel like at one point you kind of saw this person in a certain light that's why it's hit so hard um yeah it's kind of hit so hard they're none of the wiser they're focusing on trying to and when I say none of the wiser yes they sense that something's up with you but they're not quite sure what it is they haven't put their finger on it I'm not quite sure what it is so they've been trying to make an effort with that seven make an effort to you know, make you smile or kind of bring your favorite dessert around or whatever the case may be. Try to be patient. It's coming from a place of, okay, I've got to be patient. Maybe they, they're having a moment. <clears throat> if this is someone that, you know, they're still, you're still get, getting to know. Um, I feel like for them, it's a case of, okay, well, you know, we're still kind of learning each other. So let me be patient with my Taurus. Uh, but they are wanting justice. They are wanting things to iron itself out. They're not quite sure. I'll tell you something, uh, Taurus. There is this feeling on, on. There is this feeling that they do have, um, which is around that Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about the ending of something. They feel like they're, they're kind of playing with this idea or there is this feeling of, should I end this? Should I end this? And, uh... Go off in a new path with that page, you know, with the hope of having another an, another opportunity. Yeah, they're not privy to actually what what they they might have done, what they could have done, what they've been accused of doing. But it's definitely upsetting you. It's leaving you confused. There's confusion around this for you because you're just not sure. Like I said, there's this contrast between you being pulled towards this person and actually what you found out or what you're not telling them or what you're keeping to yourself is causing you to feel 
emotionally confused. I feel like because we do have that Hierophant card and we do have that Page of Pentacles, which talks about high commitment. Um, yes, high knowledge as well, wisdom, but high commitment and, and kind of moving in a new path or doing something different. I feel like you're going to continue to operate within this relationship while still hold while still holding back. I don't feel like that's a healthy way to be. I don't feel like you would even be able to get away with that, if I'm honest with you, just based on how this person, you know, we've got this, again, we've got this, this ending. They're playing around with the idea of maybe this is something that is not working or, or this is not my person, you know? So if you, because energy doesn't lie, you can try and mask how you're feeling, but sometimes those that mask slips and that's where people are privy to what's really going on underneath. Yeah. As much as, sorry if I'm knocking that camera, as much as there is this ending, we do have this, a lot of chemistry, they have a lot of chemistry with you, a lot of attraction there. So they're wanting to just, just kind of let this play out for a bit with that free. It's like, okay, I'm just going to let this play out for a bit. I'm going to monitor this. I'm going to see where this goes, where this takes, take, you know, let it un unfold a little bit. Not Let, let me not make a, a quick decision about this just yet. This is a possibility, but let's just kind of see where this, this moves to. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that four of pentacles. There we go. So we've got the Six of Cups, we've got the Knight of Wands, and then we've also got that Queen of, of Swords. This could represent someone who's actually given that information to you. I, I don't like the fact that it's a Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very manipulative, controlling, dominant, um, cold. Yeah. So be wary if they're feeding you information. Be wary if it's a person um, with that type of energy. It's something around long term, so I'm not sure, and this is just for some of you, I'm putting it on the table, I'm not sure whether you found out that this person might have um, a child or kids or children. Yeah, and that could that Queen of Swords could possibly have something to do with it, but there's something you're definitely keeping, keeping in. Like I said, communication, you're not sharing that with them, so communication is the way. Otherwise, this person could up, be up, you know, we've got that ten of swords there this person has the potential to say okay well this is not working when it could it's just that you're holding things back you're holding things in so hopefully this has given you some form of clarity <laughs> um for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week Ooh.